And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Jungle Survival. Yes, sir, Nick here. Uh, in our last episode, we created the, you know, the first touches to our tree farm, right? The farm in a tree, not necessarily a farm full of trees. And uh, it came out pretty good. So we got some growth going on, not a lot. I haven't, you know, spent any time... Uh, between videos. I think I might have fixed the lag problem. So one of the things I was researching with the snapshot and actually found out that it wasn't necessarily the snapshot. Um, take a look around, right? I live in a jungle. Jungles have tons of vines. Well, the vines are growing. So as the vines grow, that causes the computer to have to recalculate uh, information, kind of like decaying leaves. Or leaves. So... I did a few things to try to fix that. Uh, I took, uh, you know, adjusted some of the fancy graphics. But in addition, I also realized that with one of the other uh, things that I play on Minecraft that I don't uh, have a video for, uh, I have a server that I play for, uh, you know, which is some folks that I met. And I was doing some exploring recently, and I had turned my visible chunks up to the max. So the way I, you know, way you do that is if you press escape and you go to options and then you go to your video settings, um, you have render distance. I had mine set up to 32 chunks. So if you think of a chunk, a chunk is a, a 16 by 16 set of blocks. So I was looking at 32 multiplied by 16 out. That's a lot of blocks. So with that happening, the computer was trying to render all of that. Um, I've brought it down a little bit and it seems to be working a little bit better not getting as much lag. Um, I'm still going to get some of the lag because it's a, a newer jungle. So as you can tell, a lot of those vines are still growing down. Once they're fully grown, then it won't lag as much. But yeah, that, uh, that could get annoying. Alright, so in today's episode, I want to... Go back into the mine. I, I need to get some more iron. So we'll traverse over there. And then uh, we'll do some more work to you know make our uh, stairway up to the house look better. Make our house you know start, start to form our treehouse a little bit more. Right, right now we're very much um, you know function. No comfort whatsoever. Right? I'm looking over here. I'm like, hey, I could fall off and die. <laughs> so we're going to work on that. All right, so let's go back into the mine and see kind of if anything's changed since we have been there. I have a bucket of water, so if we want, we can actually go down to the bottom of the uh, ravine that we ran into and, uh, yeah, take it from there. So you notice all of these vines. Ugh. Who knows? Oop, wrong spot. There we go. All right, so we'll go down here. We'll explore a little bit. Hopefully, find some, uh, you know, find some more iron and stuff. God, I need some more coal too. Ooh, you know what? Ow, jerk! Where are you at? Oh, you're right there. Rude. Question is, do I want to go over there and try to fight him off, or just not worry about it? Uh, a couple different options, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my water. So this is a, a neat little trick that I learned a while back when I first started playing Minecraft. Is if you take a bucket of water when you're looking down at a ravine, it's going to create... Oh, crap. No creeper. You cannot have none. <laughs> He's coming back up. He is persistent. Jeez. Wow, how many of those are there? Oh, that wasn't good. Well, you're in water... Anyone else? Anyone else? So the same principle that those um, creepers used my water, uh, it's the same thing. So I can use it to go down, and they can use it to come up. And that's how I'll get back up here, too. All right, let's see. Um, I need to light this place up, first and foremost, because that will prevent some, you know, more of these mobs from spawning. Ow. Ow. No, no. Go into the lava, dude. Just 
die already. Die. There you go. Alright. So we got lava. Ooh, good gravy. This thing goes down even farther than I knew. Alright, cool. So let's see. I'm going to press F3 to give me my debug screen. So we're at Y level 23. Yes, we have a ways that we can still go down to get diamond. So just to kind of recap, you know, your best levels for getting diamond are around uh, 11, 12. Those put you at a good level for diamonds, but also keep you from uh, oh, okay. uh, mining at the lava levels, you know, as I look at the lava right here, right? So lava naturally generates at about Y level uh, 10 and 11. So when you're down below that, you run into issues. All right, so you got plenty of iron over here. This is not bad at all. There we go. See what I did there? I trapped the water. That'll keep it from going through, just like I trapped the lava. But let's go ahead and mine some of this iron. So one of the nice things about the ravines is you don't have to do a lot of strip mining. I mean, you still can, but there's a whole bunch of surface ores around here. So I have the coal that I need. I'm going to need a ton of coal to power my smoker and to power my furnace and my blast furnace. And when I did confirm with the blast furnace, that is mainly for ores. So, ores, and you can smelt armor. So like if, let's say I get, if I find gold armor somewhere, which is pretty much useless other than tricking for tricking in a, an enchantment table. Um, hello, bat. The, uh, I can smelt it down and smelt it, and I believe into ingots. So like I could take golden armor that I get from fighting mobs or something and turn it into ingot, gold ingots. And then once it's in an ingot form, I can do cool different things right so like with gold yeah you, you take gold turn it into n uh, nuggets you can put it around carrots and get golden carrots and then you can feed that to horses and that will help horses breed or i could take the uh, gold and put it around an apple and get a golden apple now i don't know in this version if they have what we used to call the notch apple or the god apple um you would take golden blocks which are nine by nine golden ingots and you'd put those around and then it would give you like massive status effects it was pretty overpowered or, or op as the term goes but uh yeah uh, all right here we go so i i I don't know if those got nixed or not. Oh, jumped into the fire. All right, so I'm on fire. Uh, a couple different ways I can get rid of the fire. Um, because I touched lava. Is I can either wait or I can jump into water. Whew. Uh, that's what I get for trying to be too fancy. But yeah, so I'll have to find out if they still have the notch apple. I mean, the notch apple's really cool for, like, you know, boss fights and stuff. So, like, if you're fighting the wither or the ender dragon, stuff like that. Ah, I heard it. I lived. I lived. All right. Um, Food-wise, I mean, I have dried kelp. Yay. All right, I have to light this place up. So let's make some more torches. Use it. There we go. Got to light up the dark. It's the thing with the creepers, right? That's why they call them creepers, because they creep up on you and go boom. <sighs> Notice my torch placement. So I've, I continually place torches on the right-hand side for whichever direction I'm headed. And the reason why I do that is if I'm heading 
or where if I'm, you know, going a certain way and there's torches on my right, I know I'm heading away from the direction I just came. If they're on my left, I'm heading back. I came down via this water fountain right here. So all of the torches on this side going away. Same thing on the other side. Yay, kelp, go through it like the other's business. I guess that's why there's a like infinite supply in the river or ocean or whatever it is that's by me. All right, so I've gotten some iron, got plenty of coal, there's some gravel up there. I love these new graphics that they have on here. It's so cool. Oh, crap. Dude, it like just became a zombie convention over there. That's not cool. I have to take them out without dying. But grab as much coal. Um, I have some iron that can definitely take it back. That'll be good. Get some more iron tools. I need to get some iron armor too. Because these mobs, they be kicking my butt. Ah, uh, did he see me? He saw me. Okay. All right, bro. Bring it. <laughs> Now notice, I'm getting those stars around there. It's a critical hit. The way that's happening is because I'm timing perfectly the swing of my sword and my uh, and a jump. It's so basically I'm getting you know momentum coming down as I hit them. Did he give me iron? Cool, I'll take it. All right, so because they all appeared there, that tells me I need to light up this spot right here. So in addition to the torch placement on the right hand side, um, if I have to light up a spot on the opposite end, I just put it on the ground. So I have my navigational torches, and then I just have a light torch, if that makes any sense. I think it does. So. And I can't take total credit for that. Um, I actually learned that from a YouTuber named uh, Paul Soros. Paul Soros Jr. Um, when I, you know, early on, he was one that I actually watched a lot. He's got some cool tips and trips on, or tips and tricks on his How to Survive and Thrive series. So, you know, hey, if you're ever looking for another series to watch, uh, if you're, you know, if you catch up on all my videos, obviously watch my videos first, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, he's he's a good one. He he gives a lot of good advice as he goes through. And then he has you know, he, he, like us all. He has a few different series and a few different niches that he does. But all good things that I've learned from him. All right. So get some more of this iron. Hopefully the lava won't fall down on me and kill me, because that would be bad. <laughs> uh, is it is it horrible that I'm half tempted to just jump up there and break it? Let's see what happens, huh? I'll put a block right there. I don't think much is gonna happen. I think what it'll do is it'll just counteract that water source right there yeah there we go all right got some more light source uh do i want to go exploring that's the question so let's drop that there I have a few different choices. I could go exploring some more. I'm going to do that. I need to block off this. Get some more torches up here because, of course, it's going to get dark soon. All right. Just block off this water. And light up the dark. 
Okay, I mean, I, mean, I think I made a good choice. I don't know what that noise was that I just made, but okay, that's all right. Uh, let's see. <gasps> Grass underground. Oh, skeleton. No, no, don't want any. Don't, don't, don't mind me, bro. Shh. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> mistimed it. Alright, light up this place, and that place, there we go. Okay, cool. So I definitely have plenty of coal right now. I have almost a stack. Uh, I think on my way back I'll have... Oh, there's a couple spots I saw. But I want to see if there's... And I know there's some iron. Ooh, and redstone. Huh. Redstone's nice. So redstone's used uh, in circuitry and, and uh, like making Minecraft's version of electronics. So we will... Definitely get into that in a little bit. I enjoy redstone contraptions. I'm not the best. I'm good at following tutorials for sure. But uh, we'll, we'll explore some neat things. There's an automated farm that you can make. There's uh, you know trap doors, like not just like the trap door. I mean like literally a door that is a trap. And there's uh, automated doors, there's, oh, just ample things to do. There's lighting. I mean, you could literally make it to where your house lights up at night. Yeah. It's cool stuff. Okay, so let's find our way back. Uh, I guess we'll stare up here. Not stare, but make a stare. All right. And see, so I have my torches on the left. That means I'm going back the way I came in. And yes, I'm sure I probably missed some iron or something on my way. But hey, great news. Now that I've lit this place up, it'll be a little bit, you know, a tad bit safer. Um, oh, okay, there we go. It'll be a tad bit safer, so it'll be okay to come back. All right, and then all I do is hold the space bar to go up, and I'm just riding the waves. And now I'm back on my stairs. Pretty nifty, huh? So let's see. I ended up with a stack and 19, so that's good with coal. I got 21 iron and 5 gold. Ooh -hoo. Now, if you're new to Minecraft and you're watching this, um, don't get super excited about the gold. Uh, in in Minecraft, there's you know there's a couple cool things I talked about earlier. You know that you can do with the apples and stuff with gold, but not not a heck of a lot outside of that. So. Gold armor you'd think would be pretty cool, right? It's pretty expensive. Yeah, no, not so much. Um, you can get good enchantments on gold armor. However, their durability is not much more than like you would get from like leather armor or something like that. That's a very low scale. Uh, iron and then ultimately diamond are your best layers for, uh, for armor. But hey, I got... A ton of iron, so I'll be able to make a couple of things of iron uh, armor. Wow, I, I love this blast furnace. Good gravy. Okay, so let's get the coal out of there. Um, sure, why not? Let's, now that I have not necessarily unlimited, but I have a good supply of coal, should be good. Uh, what did I do? I need to make some more sticks there we go got some more torches yeah okay i'm gonna have to do some inventory management here uh i think we'll we'll do that in the next episode i think in the next episode i want to kind of focus on the treehouse what do you think uh now that i've gotten some more iron i can make some <gasps> Ooh, hold on sorry got distracted by something shiny well not really shiny but you get my meaning so this is wheat. And notice that when I break it, I get wheat. But in addition, I got seven seeds. That is nuts. Oh, did I not get any wheat on there? Okay. That is one thing I'm going to have to pay attention to is now that they've changed the, the texture for it, um, I'll have to figure out exactly what fully grown wheat looks like. And I have my little baby carrot right there. But okay, so yeah, in the next episode, we'll work on the treehouse. 
and uh, I'll look up some designs. Um, I know it's going to be multi-leveled. That's why I started growing that uh, jungle tree there, grow a couple more around, make it look pretty cool, you know. And then uh, we'll go from there, all right? So, hey, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, oh, I do have some iron. All right, so we'll get some iron uh, pants and some and an iron shirt. But hey, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a thumbs up rating. F- feel free, give me any comments down below. Um, we're still looking for names for the llama, though I think the llama headed back down to the farm, so it might end up running away. That's okay, nothing wrong with that. Um, but anything in your comments that you know can help this series get better. Um, any suggestions? I'm also thinking about maybe starting up a new modded series. I found a couple mod packs. Um, either I'm looking at uh, Pixelmon, you know, a variation of Pokemon, or I found one that is uh, it's it's a Tinker's Construct is kind of the focus or the surrounding story behind the mod pack, and it just you know helps you get better with that and. You know, it has a couple other mods in there, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm, you know, enjoying this jungle survival, especially now that hopefully I figured out all the lag issues. So thank you very much for spending the time with me and we'll see you next time.